Yo, it's your boy Marcus MD on the Marks and Tao show. Here in the booth with some man. How are you? Good, good. How you doing, fam? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Work. So you just interviewed Talib Kweli. T- tell us about that, about the interview and the whole, you know, the situation that was going on at the time. Oh. Man, it was it was absolutely wild. Uh, it was at the Southern Lights Music Festival. You know, the other performers were like Bun B and Lupe Fiasco, Paul Wall, Fife Dog from A Trap Call Quest. Really good lineup. Um, however, the security was not so good. Uh, so we'll get there in a second. Background info. Earlier in the day, um, a good friend of mine, Corey Mo, uh, was at Torchies with Bun B, and Talib Kweli popped up. And Corey Mo basically introduced me to Talib Kweli, which was awesome for me, because he's one of my favorite MCs. And uh, I asked Talib if he would be down to do an interview later on at the show. He said he was, so true to his word, I caught him at the show, and he was like, let's go do the interview. We knocked it out. Uh, the thing about the interview was, we were in this room, um, very, very low security, and that's, that's kind of like a kind description of the room. Um, low security, people walking in and out, uh, important people in the room, Paul Wall, Killa Kalyon, Kirko Bangs, and Corey Moe were all in that room, plus a bunch of other people that were, you know, trying to be who they were. And, um, and yeah, so it was crazy, but we knocked out the interview, and uh, in the middle of the interview, some guy came up to us, and he was like, trying to get us to go to a smoke shop. And Talib was like, yo, can't you see we're doing an interview right now? You're trying to get me to smoke drugs? Yeah, that's foul. Yeah, I mean, you, you'll, you'll catch it in the interview, but it, it, was, it was ridiculous. So, uh, but I mean, as we know, Talib is a very enlightened individual. So hopefully in the future, I catch him in a more relaxed setting and we can do something a little more in depth. Yeah. So. Well, that's what's good. Absolutely, let's check it out. Yeah, no sleep till Brooklyn. Crisis on the ball with the heat, y'all. Kwale. <laughs> yeah. Let's get him. Son. Come on, son. Yeah, I'm on one. Son. Come on, son. I, I, I'm on one. Son. Yeah, that's what you been waiting for, son. You an hour and two? Yeah, yeah. I'm on one. You an hour and two? Son. Come on, son. You got a rainbow. Yeah. This, that. Crap, it must be what you're using if you challenge me. You're sniffing on that white girl. The Valerie's, the Natalie's, the Mallory's. Got you sweating like you're losing calories. Battle me, you confuse illusion with reality. What's up, y'all? This is Longhorn Hip Hop. We're here at the Southern Lights Music Festival with uh, BKMC Talib Kweli, who also just got off stage at the Mohawk. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And it was with the live band. It was. Shout out to Dar, Brian, and Yuki, and Jay Spiller. So uh, I wanted to first know uh, you got a new album with Res? Reese. Reese. Okay, that's it. I, I didn't know how to pronounce it. So. It's all good. It spells Res. Right. It's, 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 yeah. it's an understandable yeah. mistake. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, but it's, it's Reese. Okay. And so what's the update on that? When, when does it um, come out? Idol Worship comes out November 1st. Very exciting album. Um, if you're if you're in the underground hip hop and you love hip hop, you're like, oh, all I listen to is, is hip hop. Quali represent the hip hop. This album is not for you. It's <laughs> 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 totally different. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you want, I got POC coming next year, um, which is you know, it's a continuation of Gunner Rainbows. And it's, you know, but Idol Worship is very exciting, very liberating for me as an artist. And, you know, I'm just very happy about it. And if you're not convinced. <laughs> Take a chance and do something. You can go on Spotify and listen to the whole album together. So how would you say it's different from Gutter Rainbow? It's a different mind state, different character, different music. It's not, you know, it's it's a it's a collection of me and Reese's, all of our influences, instead of just being, you know, I've always come, every every project I put out, whether it's my soul, or with Black Star, or, or Reflection Eternal, or Mad Lib Liberation, it's always been very based on a certain type of hip hop. Even if I experiment and do other things, like, I always bring it through the medium of just a certain type of hip hop. And this album is a departure from it. Well, I'm about to go to Spotify tonight and check that out. Um, and one, so one of my favorite artists, like of all time, is the Beastie Boys. And uh, I was wondering, like, I know y'all do, like, is it some kind of softball thing that y'all do? Yeah, I mean, um, shout out to my man, um, Mad Rock. He has a softball league, I guess, or I don't know what it is. It's just a group of people who play softball. Um, I missed it this summer, but it was one of the most fun things I've ever done. So. Now I remember, he's trying to get me to smoke drugs. I'm doing an interview. 
<laughs> Say no to drugs, kids. So, what, what's your favorite Beastie Boys album? License to Kill. I mean, I mean, I mean, people like you know, Paul's Boutique and you know, what's the one about Ill Communication? Ill so Communication, check it out. Are you talking about the the joint on the one with the with Q Tip? The one with Q Tip. What's the album that's on? Ill Communication. Ill Communication, right? Yeah. People, people, you know. I mean, I just think that I remember it was '86 when License to Ill hit the streets. It just was unprecedented. Yeah. And you know, I like every. I'm a fan of DC Boys. I like everything they did. That's to be like it's hard to beat the original. So is that kind of is that part of the reason why we heard that new style sample on the long one? Ah, that's that's all the Jones. That's the track. Yeah. No, that's not your job. Crisis, baby. Who made that? Crisis, baby. Crisis, baby. They both from North Carolina. <laughs> but yeah, man, I was that. That's all I had. He came with life. Okay. And uh, for the students out there at UT, do you want to tell them a little bit about where you grew up and what kind of music you listened to growing up? Yeah, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. I listened to all different types of music. My father was a DJ, so a lot of different things influences him. You know, all these albums, I know all these albums. Nice to meet you. That's the one that and your mother is a professor, right? Yeah, my mother and my father. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't a good job in life, man. Shout out to my parents. <laughs> Shout out to everybody's parents. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, Not everybody's parents. Some people's well, parents are fucking. The good parents that are out there. Like me, I'm a good parent. I believe that. I believe that. Yeah, my kids. Hey, yeah. Hey, yo, it's Tyler BKMC, MCEO, Ebony Man, Apollo Legend. You now rocking with Longhorn Hip Hop.